it is here. It has finally come in the mail and I feel like I'm already behind with my review. <laughs> what are we talking about? Who am I? Who am I? I'm Lauren, if you're new here. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. You're amazing. Today we're talking about the new palette from Natasha Denona and that is the I Need a Nude Palette. Mm. Now, why did I want this palette? I've actually been pretty good on not picking up every single one of Natasha Denona's launches because I don't need everything. Nobody needs everything. Uh, but this one caught my attention because it is described as having a cool tone color story. And you really don't see that too often. And I am a lover of cool tones. So I immediately was like, yes, I'm gonna get it. I need to try it out. And my first reaction when I opened it was, it's more pink than I thought it would be. More pink, but in retrospect, there's only really two pinky colors. It's gonna be wit and it's gonna be vague up here. And I mean, Mia is a bit pinky, but Mia is also very, very sheer. And overall, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if it is cool toned, if it's worth the price point. It is $69, <clears throat> which is really expensive for an eyeshadow palette. But what makes this palette just a little bit a lot of it extra exciting is she announced that she had put a new formula in some of these. So how it's described is it's a wet effect sparkling and glossy finish formula illuminating any eyeshadow look with an ethereal touch of glistening sparkle. And if you've been on the channel before, you know that I use the word ethereal all the time because that's how I want my eyeshadow looks to look ethereal all the time. So I was really excited to try this new formula. Now it comes in two wet finishes. So it comes in a sparkling wet and then it comes in a glossy wet. So the new colors are, we have do, 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 Delilah is one of them. And then Mia is another. And those ones are the sparkling wet formulas. And then we have Sheen, which is described as the glossy wet formula. So we're definitely gonna need to try those out, I think in the look. What I wanna do is I wanna do two different eye looks, one per eye, and I've seen a couple reviews. And in a lot of the reviews, it seems like a lot of the eye looks, even when they do two separate eye looks, turn out the same, or at least very, very similar. So we're gonna see if we can do two different eye looks that actually look different with this color story. Maybe not, but we will find out together. Here we go, we're swatching the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Ooh, very pretty. So we're just gonna get into this. So we have Stone, Whisper, and Ella. Vague, Travertine, this is one of the first ones in the new formula, this is Delilah, it's very soft, Silhouette, Muse, Fair, which looks to be about my skin tone, Filigree, Wit, and Sheen, which is the new glossy version of the formula. Tender. Mesh. And last, also in the new formula, Mia. Here are all the swatches of the new I Need a Nude palette. 
Definitely is looking pretty cool tone for the most part. But let's see what it looks like when I apply it on my eyes. So I've gone in and primed this eye with my Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. And we are just gonna go in, figure out a look. I think I wanna go in with stone first. I wanna try to make this as cool toned as possible. So I am going to go ahead and put stone all over my upper lid. Because I wanna, I really wanna see if we can do two cool toned looks. I mean, I don't mind there being two pinks in there, you know, but they do warm up the palette a little bit. So I thought that was kind of an interesting uh, addition. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Silhouette and I'm gonna put that in my outer eye corner. I actually was watching a couple videos on Instagram on the Natasha Denona account and they did this one look that was so pretty and they used this color and I was surprised because I thought the color would be a little bit darker but did I say Silhouette? Did I say I was using Silhouette? It actually is not as dark as I thought it would be. And that's actually something that I've noticed with some of Natasha Denona's colors is that they look darker in the pan than they appear in, on the eye. I'm trying to get it in my crease. Oh, that's better. Okay. Okay, next I think what I want to do is I want to go into... Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to go into Ella and I'm going to put that actually in my inner corner. And now I want to use one of the colors that are in her new formula. So I'm going to go into Delilah and on the website it recommended spraying your brush first. So I have my little setting spray and I'm going to just spray my brush and I'm going to go into Delilah and it's supposed to have a wet effect. Interesting. I hope it's picking up on camera because it does look pretty decently wet in person. Okay. Uh, I do want to put something under the waterline. I always do. So I'm going to go in with Tender and I'm going to put that under the waterline. And I'm going to go back into... Actually, I'm going to go into sheen which is supposed to be a glossy wet effect use the other side of my brush and i am just going to put that in my inner corner and a little underneath the waterline I'm going to go back into silhouette and just bring it up a little bit. Okay, I think that's good for one eye. We used quite a few of these, but let's go ahead and do this eye. Maybe we'll use some of those pinks because they're in the palette. I want to use them. Okay, first I think we're going to go into wet in the corner. Since we're gonna do a slightly pinker look on this eye, so it should look different than this eye. Next, let's go into Vague over here and put that in the outer corner and kind of fluff it out a little bit. Well, that's another one that is light. And I think 
what I want to do is I want to go into tender and I want to add that on the very outer corner. And we're going to do it a little bit on the inner crease as well. We're kind of duplicating the exact same look we did on this side, just with different colors. Okay, next I'm going to go into travertine and I'm going to put that color kind of in the inner corner, maybe like bring it out into a little bit of a halo, I think. That is a really silky, smooth color. It's very light, but it's, it feels really nice. Lastly, we have to go into Mia because it's in the new formula. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush. And I'm gonna go into fair. I'm gonna put that underneath my waterline this time. I'm gonna see if it's actually visible because I think it might just be, yeah, it's kind of just the same color as my skin. <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, let's instead, let's go back into wit and put that one underneath. And then I'm going to go back into that new formula shade Mia. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. And along the bottom. Just to kind of match the other eye. Okay, I'm going to go clean up the edges a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put mascara eyeliner because it's not finished yet never is finished until you put on the eyeliner and the mascara, at least for me. Um, <laughs> and then I'll be right back. And I'm gonna talk about my final thoughts about this palette. Okay, we're back and we have eyeliner and mascara on and I feel like the look is complete. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about my final thoughts about this palette. The I Need a Nude palette by Natasha Denona. Do I recommend it? Is it a cool tone palette? I think that's an important question that needs to be asked. And what about her new formula? Is it worth it? Is it good? Is it amazing? Let's talk about it. First off, I do want to say that I think the two eyes did turn out different. We used all different colors and, uh, but they are similar. <laughs> like it's definitely very similar. And I think that's because we can safely say that this is a cool tone palette. Yes, we have the two pinks in here that are salmon-y. They're definitely bordering on warm rather than cool. Regardless of those colors, I think everything else really is cool toned. And the look that you get is cool toned. Even when using those pinks, I feel like that look was still cool toned, which I love. I love cool tones. So that's actually very exciting for me. It actually is cool toned because sometimes with Natasha Denona, you think you're getting cool toned and it's like a mix of both. It's not truly cool toned. But this one, yes, I think we can say it's cool toned. If you're looking for a lot of variety in your palette though, I would say this is probably not it. <laughs> you're gonna get very similar looks with whatever color that you're using. And they're all gonna be beautiful because the formulas in here are beautiful, but they're gonna be similar. So if you're looking for something that is gonna stand out a little more, I don't know if I would recommend this palette, but if you're looking for something that you can use on a daily basis, you want something a little more neutral, a little more cool tone, not as much color, then I would say this is the palette for you. Now with her new formula, again, it's supposed to have kind of a wet effect and I like it, but I don't love it. <laughs> I think the color that gave me the wettest looking effect would be the Mia color in the corner. And that one was described as one of the sparkling wet new formula shades. And then of course we had Delilah and Sheen, which had the other two with the new formulas. And Sheen was glossy wet, but even though I used the exact same method to apply each of those three, 
Mia definitely just seemed a bit more wet looking than the other two. I mean, Delilah is pretty. They're, they're all beautiful. They really are. Delilah is pretty, but I don't really think it gave me as much of a wet look as I was hoping it would, which, you know, it's still beautiful. I'm still going to get a lot of use out of it, but it's hard when you are so into indie eyeshadows, me, you as in me, because like some of them just look so wet. Like some companies have just pulled that off and it really is those indie companies, they, they can really do some magical things with their eyeshadows. So I definitely have eyeshadows that I feel like give off more of a wet effect. These ones are gorgeous, but they're not the wettest looking eyeshadow that I've ever seen. Now for $69, would I say that this is worth it? I would, because I love cool tone colors and she just does cool tone so well when she does do it, which isn't very often. But when she does it, it's just so beautiful and it's such an easy formula to work with. So it's not anything you have to struggle with. I didn't get any fallout at all, which is amazing. And it's just something that you can put on your eyes and run out the door. And I love that. I love that these are high quality, easy to use eyeshadows. So for $69, this is a palette that I can see myself just living in for the next couple weeks if I didn't have to test out some other palettes. <laughs> Overall, I think it's a beautiful palette. I think she did a great job with the color story. The tones are beautiful. The new formula is good, not amazing, but I think it's good. And I know I'll be getting a lot of use out of this palette. Well, let me know what you think below. Do you think these looks are different? I hope so. I hope there, I hope there is at least a little bit of a, a difference between the two. And I would love to know if you're gonna be picking up this palette as well, or if you already have, if you've tried it already, let me know down below. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>